welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are here and you are viewing this and you would like to chat with me, you will need to log in. Hello, hello, hello. I am here ready for a sparkly evening. I hope that you all see me. If you are here, I hope I don't see anyone in the chat room right now. Um, and I'd love to confirm that you are actually here and able to see and hear me. Hello, Miss Roberta. Hi, welcome. Thanks for coming. Hi, Pam. Thanks for coming. Hello, Barb. Thanks for coming. And you guys can see and hear me. Everything is working fine. Hey, Vicki. Hello. Hey, Sue. Welcome. Good. Did you guys go over there and I don't know what that is because there it's no noise here. I don't hear anything. I do have my radio on in the background, but I have it on all the time. Hey, Diane. Um, did you guys go and get the colors and the fun quote for tonight. I know some of you will not use that quote. Feel free to change the words as you see fit. I like the quote. It's so true. If you're not familiar with the quote, which can be found at my blog at www.tiaresmith.com. That's trsmith.com. The quote is, when life throws it at you cover it with glitter yes <laughs> what could be better <laughs> we know that life throws shit at us all the time <laughs> cover it in glitter make it sparkly make it work So it's 8.02. I've been wanting to get started at 8 o'clock um, just because I'm trying to create within the hour. So that helps me. Hey, to now. So I do see that. I'm looking at the sound and I see that my music, maybe that's what the little low hum is because when I stop talking, I do see the sound moving. Just a little bit, just a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and change my camera angle and we are going to get started. And if you see my junk on the floor, I've been so good cleaning up. And then um, I got junky again. <laughs> Get that out of here. Pretty good. Hello, Anjanique. I 
clean up. Cleaning doesn't bother me. Sometimes you guys hear me get quiet. Sometimes I'm trying to read what you guys are saying. I do, I clean up. I'm kind of always cleaning up and then my room is never clean. But I'm always putting something away, shall I say, or some such thing. And I'm pretty organized when I clean. So I can easily find stuff and it's all within reach and there's a drawer for everything. So that's easy, but the problem is I'm always creating. So I don't always clean up after I create or when something new comes into the house or when I find something around the house, I come in, I throw it somewhere and there it stays <laughs> until I clean up. So I've been finding books and things that I've been wanting to use and stuff and I've kind of been throwing them on the floor, to be honest. So there you have it. True confessions. <laughs> Alright, well, my pages are curled up a little bit. I'm going to uncurl them. I have gessoed my background and, and uh, my pages, which you know I always suggest we do. What we're going to do is create a background. We are going to create a background and do some fun stuff with it, and then we'll add the quote to our background. So, um, you probably have gotten the color scheme, which is sort of... Uh, different shades of blue and a green I added purple to mine remember always creative freedom so I don't want you all to ever feel like you have to use exactly what I'm using um you can uh, try to match what's what's on you know what I provide as um, inspiration or the colors I'm going to use but I might um, add something to them sometimes and just so you know, before we get started, this is going to be the last art party Wednesday for the year because next Wednesday is Christmas Eve and the Wednesday after is New Year's Eve. And on New Year's Eve, we're having a party. So um, I will not be on. And of course, I won't be on for Christmas Eve. So note that we'll get back together at the beginning of January. I will put that in the information um, when I have the replay posted for tomorrow. Alright, so get ready. 2015 is going to be awesome. We're going to have the art parties. And don't forget that I'm going to have the Embrace Your Art Challenge all year long. It's a prompt a day. I'll be pulling seven prompts every Monday, sharing what those prompts are. And then each day out of the week, I will share what I created based on those prompts. And hopefully, you will create with me too and join me in the Embrace Your Art um, group on Facebook. All right, let's get this party started. Whoop, 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 whoop. I hope y'all got your pajama phone and y'all party music. So I am just going to use my fingers. Ooh, this one seems to be kind of sealed. Get that sticky paint out of there. And I am just going to put color down anywhere on my page I got glitter you guys got glitter I got stickle so literally this is what I'm doing Vicky, today is a straight up pajama day around here. All right, so here is how I'm starting off. I have um, water around, which I love, and I sometimes just like to spritz a little on to help the paint move a bit. And I'm just going to move the paint around with my fingers. I don't care how it blends. I want it to blend. Oops. And 
and then you could do whatever you like with it. Meaning if you need more color, more of a color, just go ahead and add it. Hello, Tommy Joe. And you can keep on blending and adding to your heart's content. And if you start getting too much brown, like, yes, of course, if you get purple and the yellow, you're going to end up with brown. Just add up some more color to it to change it up. Love that. So just do your colors however you like to get the look that you want. messy background and I'm digging on it. So however you want it to look, I think that I'm going to stop now because I'm liking how this looks. It's pretty wet so I'm going to do some drying. Yes, you see my beautiful band-aid? You're lucky you only see one. <laughs> because I have more than one. <laughs> but I took one off. I don't know. I need to do something. My hands are a mess. <laughs> I'm going to do some drying.
I'm focusing the camera. I think that's a little bit better. It looks pretty funky on camera. It's pretty cute in person. <laughs> Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add some white. I'm going to add this lighter blue and I'm going to add white to the background. Uh, okay, good. I will try that, Maria, because my hands have been so dry. I have this really great soap that works wonderfully, that makes my hands feel nice and moist. But then I don't have a really great um, lotion that I love. So I'm just going to dab on this light blue, which is baby blue. Just a little down here at the bottom. And I'm going to get my brayer. I'm going to mist and then I'm going to paint or brayer. And after doing this, I might not actually need to add white. This is one of my favorite things to do is just to kind of paint a funky background and then brayer color on the top. Oh, I love it. Okay, so I use it at night, so like once you get ready to go to bed, maybe you wash your hands and then you put it on to keep your hands moist overnight. This is so awesome. I love this background. You guys probably cannot see it that well. I don't know how this looks to you. <laughs> it's pretty cute. Like my view of it on screen is, it looks weird. Alright, so okay. Maria, are we friends on Facebook? If not, maybe you can friend me because I'm not going to remember. Anything I think around here to write this down. Oh, Keith, can you get that at like your local Walgreens or? Would you send me a note? <laughs> oh, I love this. This is awesome. nice there I really like this I think it looks so nice this is like my favorite kind of background so I might be a little crazy <laughs> you might not love it as much as I do but I love it and I think it looks good and now I am actually going to Try to mist on it. I have this cool template here, and I have some Mr. Huey's white, um, calico white, and this usually mists really nicely on colors. So I'm gonna try to um, mist on here, and hopefully the white will show. If not, then I'll just have to think of something else. <laughs> How about that? Think of something else. But right now we're just playing and building background. I always get my little box top. Helps me from misting on everything. See, yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right, great. That worked. Now, hopefully, the, the, the question is, is the white just going to fade away? I hope not. 
I'm going to dry a little bit and then we're going to add some more detail. I told you to bring and you guys know that I love to use that just to stamp so I've got some black here and I'm going to use that I'm putting a little bit on my beautiful plate you guys have seen my beautiful plate filled with dry acrylic paint that I love 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 um, I guess I could take this out because I don't think I'm going to use any more mist for this step, I am going to get some water for my brush, and I'm just going to add some black to my corrugated card stock, or my corrugated card. Just paint right on it, just add black paint to it, and then just stamp. And I like to just stamp anywhere around the page. I didn't add that much that time, so this time I'm going to add a little bit more. And I always crisscross it. Or most often I do. Because I like the little cross hatch look that it provides. almost like a window screen. And just do that wherever you want it to appear. And you don't have to do it like me, meaning it doesn't have to be crossed. You could just do some lines. Up to you. That's kind of cool to just do some lines. Love. Love, love, love. Nice, nice. Love it. Just add it wherever you want. Yeah, I was thinking that they weren't. If you have some white paint or your gesso, you can always take a like the makeup sponge you guys have seen me use that dab that in there get some of the excess off and then tap it on top of your stencil and then that should let the white show through all 
All right, I'm cleaning up my hands. I don't know if you saw them in the the video, but they're all kind of painted up. <laughs> See? So I'm going to get some of that paint off of there. And baby wipes are perfect. And quick. And easy. Might not have to be perfectly clean, but get some of it off. See, that was pretty quick, right? And they're decent. Alright, so now I have another stencil. And now, Roberta, I'm actually going to do exactly what I just told you. do and that is I'm good I've got this cute stencil it's a circle um, and I'm going to use that lighter shade of blue to add it around the page a little bit and I'm gonna use my sponge to dab it on are you <laughs> are you laughing at me for turning my hand over so you can see. <laughs> Let me see. Now I just need a little sponge and hope I have one nearby. I do. Um, you know, just one of these little wedges. And I just keep using them over and over. I cut the bottoms off when they get too dirty and so I just dab in and I dab the excess off and now I'm just gonna dab around my stencil and I'm not trying to be perfect with it awesome that is some awesomeness right there See, so you don't have to be perfect with it. I actually kind of like the grungy look, so I like how it turns out. Okay. And I'm going to add some smaller though. Love it. Love it. Wiping off my stencil. I use my baby wipes for everything. I use them to clean off my stencils, to clean off my hands, to wipe up paint. They are there to use for many, 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 many reasons. Alright, so last but not least, you know what I think I want to do? Is I also have this roll here. And this roll is actually from the aluminum foil, you know, the inside of the foil. And the reason I like it is because it's smaller. The circle is smaller than a paper towel. The hole is smaller. So I like that. So I'm just going to add a couple of circles. Um, I think I'm going to use my green paint. And then we are going to add some sparkle. We're going to add some sparkle to this. And so for this, all you need to do is you add paint, as we just had, to, to a plate. But this time, you're going to take it and you paint the edge of the tube. And then you use it to stamp.
add some circles around the page. Fun, 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 and fun. I think I'm done with the circles. I'm digging on this background. This, these layers. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Taking the year out with a bang. This, if this all turns out well, I can say for sure this is one of my favorite backgrounds. Right here. Is that where you're seeing that? A little bit of drying. Yep, I see it too. paper some uh, acrylic paper watercolor paper I don't know what kind of paper it is <laughs> I just pulled out some paper <laughs> uh, oh no <laughs> Roberta you are too funny <laughs> and I am going to use it for some of the words um what I'm going to do is Hold on, let me just pull up the quote. If, if life throws shit at you, cover it in glitter. So, or I like when life throws shit at you, cover it in glitter. I also like when life throws shit at you, put some glitter on it. <laughs> I kind of like that. When life throws shit at you, put some glitter on it. I like, I like that kind of better than I like if like throw shit that you cover it in glitter. <laughs> um, so, I am going to write the letters on here and cut them out. Except for the shit. <laughs> and the glitter. Those will be something else. But I'm going to put the if life throws on paper. Shit at you or when life throws shit at you. God, I've said that a thousand times. You guys get what I'm saying. <laughs> Alright. So, for now, I am going to just take this away for a minute so that I can do the words that will be on the little pieces of paper. And I am going to grab a pen, pen marker, some kind of marker, to do my writing. So who's using this glitter? I mean, who's using this quote? Who's not a scared? <laughs> so I'm going to put when. Life. Throws and I'm changing it up. I am 
changing mine to when life throws shit at you. Because if, that's funny. Because it's going to throw some at you at some point. So I've got when life throws and then I'm going to do at you and I'll do that a little differently and cut that out. I'm going to put when life throws shit at you, put some glitter on it. Put some, so I got to do put and some. And then I got to do on it. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm like, if, yeah, okay, right. I'm saying when it does, put some glitter on it. Alright, so I'm going to cut these little pieces out. different. So what I'm going to do with these pieces is, after I cut them out, I'm actually going to ink the edges to help them pop. Now I'm going to get my ink pad and I'm going to ink some edges. I'm going to cut the tops of these off though. And again, you know me, I'm not into perfection. So if these aren't perfectly straight, forgive me. They are not going to be perfectly straight and that doesn't matter to me. There is um, going to be some glitter on them. <laughs> Tommy, I have so many cutters though. <laughs> That's right, put some glitter on it. So I'm inking the edges, and for those that don't aren't familiar with inking edges, I always tell people that I ink and look at what I'm inking. That way I can see what I'm doing. There are some people that rub this way. I don't rub that way. I rub going down. That way I see what I'm inking and what's happening. Oops. 
Hey Shirley, I didn't see you come in and Cherokee lady, hello. Alright, getting this done. Then I'm going to grab some matte medium, my gel medium, and use that for adhesive. And we are going to add some glitter and glitz and sparkle to our page. Alright, let me grab the page. Here we go. And now I gotta start to place my letters. When life throws. So that's gonna be over here. When life throws. Shit. <laughs> At you put some glitter on it that is how this is gonna go something like that oh wow ginger snaps you sending me some girl you sending me some I know you sending me some <laughs> Next week, for, well, week after next for uh, New Year's Eve, we're having a drinks and desserts party. So I will be baking quite a bit. I am going to bake a wine cake, a chocolate chocolate chip cake, pumpkin squares, sweet potato pie. And then I will probably also have a chocolate tort cake and some kind of cookies. And lots of wine. And some kind of funky mixed drink for the party. What is a tussy mussy? Yes, please. Share. Tell us. Okay. But you have to tell us what it is. <laughs> is it chocolate? Is it a cake? Is it... What is it? What kind of ingredients are in it? We need details. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. All right, so I've got some glittery letters here. Because I said put some glitter on it, so I'm putting the word S-H-I-T in glittery letters. I'm making them silver glitter. Ah, there we go. Uh-oh. The T is a wreck. Oh, but I probably can use it. Let's see. Just in two pieces. Still kind of wet right there. Let me see if I can dry that spot a little more. You can see this is not
Glittery, glittery. You know, <laughs> Tab Brown. <laughs> Maria, I thought about that, but I thought, do I really want to use brown? <laughs> Yuck, we put glitter on it. letters and then for glitter I actually decided and I hope it fits to use these letters and pink because they'll pop out they'll be nice and sparkly and they will pop off the page how about that Woohoo! so oh. G. L. I. T. T. But I'm going to get the E first. Because it's right there. T. T. And an R. I think this will be perfect. Yes, I love it. Pop of pink. <laughs> You're funny. There's nothing wrong with you. We all love some humor. That's perfect. <laughs> and trust me when I say I really did think about brown today. So next, just get those stickles out and add some more glitter. We're adding some more sparkle just around your page. And I have tons. I brought all kinds of colors with me. Don't know if I'll use them. I have a lot of I have a lot of stickles. Um, the company sent me a whole bunch for an event I hosted. So I probably have like every color of stickles. Um, I gave them away and I kept one of each color because I gave them all away and that's how much I had left over and I just made sure that somehow magically there was one of each color left. <laughs> Alright, so now take your stickles and just have some fun with them. I like to do zigzags. I like to make shapes. I'm going to take this really pretty patina where I put the green circles and I'm going to add some. are thick so make sure that as you add them 
that you are aware that don't close your book you'll just have a big old stickle mess just gonna want to let this dry overnight Look at that. That's pretty. That's pretty. Okay. So just go around doing some fun things with your colors. The blue and let's see I also have silver I got some platinum and one of the things I like to do is just do like a zig. And I'll show you. Just sort of like when I do my little signature scratch, I like doing that with um, with glitter. I'm sorry, I don't know if you guys saw me do that. With stickles. Alright, so just add them around your page, just different places. Different colors, different places, just play, just have a little fun. Take it, squeeze it, zig it, that's a messy zig, too much came out, but it's pretty on the paper. I love it, this is gorgeous. Oh, goodness gracious. I love this. And I'm literally just taking it around the page wherever I want. Just a little sparkle here and there. And another thing you can do, of course, is just put dots around the page. Glitter stickle dots are awesome. So put some dots around your page and sometimes when I'm doing this I, I'm just squeezing it out so then it has a peak I smush them down because it takes those peaks forever I'm going to use platinum and then I'm probably going to be done.
that's why I put that down here to help my my SHIT <laughs> be seen. <laughs> gonna try this blue I don't know if it's gonna show up because it's very dark but it's glittery so let's just see I love this color Alright, last but not least, I'm going to add this platinum. And now I'm just kind of scribbling it in different places on top of the black I think it'll show up and I think that's it I think I love it night Pam thank you 857 we did it Look at all my sparklies. Hopefully, you know, it's going to be so hard. It's always so hard to get a pic, an actual picture where you can see all of the glitter. But there's some sparklies all around this page. That was fun. Loved it. Have a good night. All right. There we go. I will have this posted on my blog at T-I-A-R-E-S-M-I-T-H dot com. Uh, that's T-R-Smith.com. It'll be there for you to see close-ups tomorrow. Um, also, remember, this is our last art party for the year because next Wednesday is Christmas Eve and the Wednesday after is New Year's Eve. Please, please, please. Be sure to join me in 2015 for more art parties. But most importantly, please join the Embrace Your Art group on Facebook. Share your work there and be ready for the Embrace Your Art 365 Challenge, which starts January 1st. I will be creating all year long a prompt a day, a creation a day, all year long. And I want you to create with me, whether it be an art journal page, a card, a scrapbook page, Whatever it is, whatever your art is, let that be what you do. I'm doing cards, little 3 by 5 I think they're like 3 by 5 cards. So whatever it is that you want to do, I provide the prompt, and I will do my own art, but you provide the art too. Alright? Thank you. Thanks everybody for joining me. I had a good time as usual. I really appreciate you all taking the time to create with me. I love that. It makes me feel special and very happy. And I'm really, really, really honored that you're here. And I'm really happy to share my art with you. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Muchas, muchas, babies. Love you. Toodles. Thank you. Good night, Sue. Good night, Vicky. Good night, Tommy. Good night, Angelique. Yes, Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Happy New Year. I will see you all on Facebook. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Have an amazing rest of the week and an amazing weekend. Good night. Love you. Bye.